a further insight into Genesis Part 2. Easter Egg Event Extension and a possible glimpse at artwork for Ark 2. You're right kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So the community crunch dropped last night and we've got a further insight to three things in Genesis Part 2 in the form of artwork. Surely created by Fuego, a very talented dude that uses the in-game assets to create artwork. Which means what we're seeing here is actually real and is actually part of the game. Which means the Maywing, something we've seen before but only in illustration form, is here in the flesh and a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Looking at the original reveal, I expected this to be quite small, somewhat of a shoulder pet. However, you can see this thing is a chief and it looks like this is a glimpse at how it's going to operate, that the baby creatures from enemy tribes that it's going to lure in via its bounteous teats, that's what they said, <laughs> are going to be placed in these baskets, of which I guess you'll fly away. What's more interesting is we get to see a further glimpse at the new exosuit, and it looks pretty cool, and it almost seems to be flying, Although that could just be part of the artwork for the photo and getting a pretty cool pose in place. But we can see here the May Wing is definitely in some form of flying animation with the streamlines behind it and that's the saddle in all its glory which seems to connect these baby carrying baskets meaning you'll probably not be able to steal babies unless you've got this saddle. Which makes sense, most creatures have abilities you can't unlock until you've got their saddle. Also worth noting on this and every other screenshot, they've got the date, 26th May. They seem to be very sure this is definitely coming out. There's going to be no further delays. According to this, why else would you put the date unless you were very certain you were going to hit it? So I'm going to take it that this is definitely going to happen. On to the next one, the egg incubation device. Again, we saw this before and it seems to be very close to the original concept we saw with a further glimpse at the information that we're going to get to see. You can see on this screenshot that you'll be told if it's female or male and its incubation level. I've tried to figure out how the color coding works, but it doesn't seem to be related to the incubation. Perhaps it's its primary color, as we're going to know the colors of the creatures before they hatch via this incubation chamber, as well as if they've got any mutations, which means breeding for mutations is going to be so much easier with this device. As someone who enjoys breeding, I'm looking forward to this one and I hope you are too. What's worth noting, is that a rock drake egg in the picture? Don't forget, rock drake eggs are normally purple, very, very purple. And that ain't no purple, it's brown as brown can be. Is that possibly a new egg of a new creature? Maybe, maybe not, we'll have to wait and see. But the colour correction on this photo is definitely right if you look at the poison wyvern egg, the tech eggs, the rex eggs. If that's a drake egg, that should be purple, and it's not. So, new dino egg, I'm calling it, or maybe not. What do you think? Comment below, let me know. And everybody called it, there's a new mech in town weirdly called the exo suit as i thought the new tech suit you was wearing in genesis part 2 was called the exo suit but i guess the devs have moved that branding onto this mech and we believe we've seen these before in the trailer walking around what we believe to be the tech trenches or at least these look like them but it gets far far deeper with these mechs because it seems to be you will only be able to unlock these when you've passed the ultimate test which I'm assuming is the end boss variation of Rockwell. But when you unlock it, you have the ability to enjoy an aerial view or manage your base to perfection with ease. So is this unlocking the new RTS mode that we've covered in previous videos? Maybe our thoughts of it being a new Genesis 2 mode is completely out the window and this is actually going to be the RTS mode, which means it's going to work hand in hand with the game. This could be mind blowing, game changing stuff on how Ark is going to be played in the future if this is how I'm reading it. And it seems to be the case that you unlock this thing when you beat the game and then you can manage your base from an aerial view. What? <laughs> I wonder if the exosuit can be attacked whilst you're managing from above, 
or perhaps it just sends a camera out in the air. Oh, we need more information about this. We need more information on how this is going to exist and how it's going to work within the ARC gameplay. But there's not too long to wait. 26th of May, it's coming. And there's so much more new gameplay changing stuff that's coming to this game that I can't wait to see. To quickly recap, you've got the remote camera security system, the ammo box that's going to automatically distribute ammo to your turrets, the loadout mannequin having your gear there ready to go at a moment's notice, the hover sail, space sailing, the tech bow, a new variation of the weapons that you know, but now in tech form, shooting actual tech elemental arrows. The minigun that can be placed or carried around to deal some serious boss damage. And the canoe if you want to go for a nice primitive row in a space lake. And of course the Federation tech suit that we've now seen before that did have EXO in the name, I'm so sure it did, but whatever, perhaps that's not a thing anymore and that's going to be the new mech. And not forgetting the creatures that we know so far, the Noglin that's going to tear your face off, the towering Harvesting Strider, the new tech wyvern, the Wirum, the smaller but very faster Astrocetus, the Astrodelphis, or the Go Invisible or Courage Raw buff, depending on what gender you choose, Shadow Main. And that's about it, 26th of May, it seems to be definitely dropping, so more details are certainly going to be dropped as we get closer and closer to that release date. The excellent adventure has been extended. I put this out in a community post as I didn't feel that it deserved its own video. But there you go, it's been extended. You've got until Monday, April the 19th. And why? Because on PC especially, there were a lot of issues with a lot of server downtime that wasn't deserved and wasn't the player's fault. Therefore, Wildcard decided, you know what? Let's extend the event. And it's good to see that they did. Normally, they don't do anything like this. And I'm wondering, have they extended it to allow them enough time to drop the Fast Flyers update for console? Come on, fingers crossed. I know we're getting tired on hearing if it's actually coming. So fingers crossed. Let's hope it does drop when the event ends. And lastly, a shout out to Pure Dingo who tagged me on Discord, who suggested that Caleb have a tape who I covered a video on before on new Genesis pictures, possibly has done illustrations for Arc 2. Now, this could be wrong. However, Caleb seems to post artwork on his website for mostly wildcard related stuff, whether it's Ark or Atlas. So there stands a chance that the screenshots you're seeing here could be Ark 2. They don't look too different from the ending scene in Ark 2. It's certainly a big possibility. And whilst these pictures are somewhat vague, it could offer a glimpse into what's to come in that new sequel. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check these out yourself as I'm not going to go into these in too much detail until we know they're definitely ARC 2. What do you think? Drop a comment below, let me know what do you think about the new Genesis reveals, especially that mech. If that is the RTS mode, things are just going to be insane. We need more info wildcard, I know it's only a month away, 26th of May, it's coming. I can't wait, I know you can't wait. What are you looking forward to more? Drop a comment below, let me know. My name's Ras Clark, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always, peace out.